good idea is a very subjective thing. So do as much analysis of, of what you're trying to do as possible. Look at companies who have launched something similar or go to relevant trade shows or read magazines or blogs of people that have built similar businesses. Assemble a bigger picture as you can. And then if your idea still makes sense, chat to other people in the industry, solicit a bit of advice, and then crucially, create an MVP, a minimal viable product that you put in front of strangers and the marketplace and see what happens. Don't make the mistake so many people do of spending a year or two building what they think is the perfect product and releasing it and then discovering no one wants it. That's a disaster. You need to be very dedicated to your idea if you want to become an entrepreneur. It's very competitive out there. So you've got to have that resilience. You've got to be incredibly passionate and you've got to be willing to sacrifice a huge amount. You're not going to have much time for other things in your life. Being an early stage entrepreneur, being a mid or even a late stage entrepreneur is pretty much a full-time job. Seven days a week you're thinking about the business and uh, that's not for everyone. And if you want that, if you want to be part of the amazing startup scene, you don't necessarily need to start a company. Why not join a company that's already got a bit of traction and help them and do something that you're passionate about within a very entrepreneurial business. Learn and see where it goes. And then if you do feel you're ready after a, a couple of years, then you could strike out on your own. But it's tough. The odds are stacked against you if you're trying to launch your own business. It's amazing when you crack it, but something like nine out of 10 startups don't make it. And uh, you've got to have a lot of heart and um, resources to, uh, to cope with those odds.